All right, everyone. Old Timer Mad Tom here. Little porch plant update. As you can see, we have some more projects going on and a few more pots, plants. First, I'm just going to show kind of how some of the plants are doing. The ferns did not work out. I think you're going to have to, if you wanted to transplant ferns, you'd have to do it over the winter. And then when the spring warms them up, they would come up in the pot established, but transplanting them did not go over well. But I do have plans for that. Over here is my bleeding heart and my pluminaria. They're a little, they're coming up pretty well, a little slow. The bleeding heart for the longest time wasn't, wasn't looking too swell, but now they've come up. They're looking pretty good. I'm turning these pots pretty often so that way they don't uh, overglow, grow and stretch towards the light like this one. You can see it's it's getting leany. My hostas are starting to do real well. You can see some of the coloration in this uh, guacamole style. Here's the other one. Both have come up really well. This one especially. I believe this is the one I <laughs> soaked in water, so doesn't matter. Maybe a little. You get a few more leaves off this one, but uh, speaking of that, I learned that the reason why you want to soak your roots in water is to make them more pliable. They're liable to break if you don't. Of course, this is my primrose. It's doing pretty well. I'm probably going to get some more. That might what's going to go in this green container that I showed that were my ferns in. We got this pot from the trash can or dumpster area. Somebody left it out. Um, this is kind of similar to this one where you want to put the pot inside of the pot, kind of as decorative. Right now we're using it as a stand because today we went to Home Depot and bought a pot. This one, we were going to originally put this in, but this one's too tall. It sticks up two, three inches. Our hydrangea is doing well. It's putting out some leaves. We bought this today. It is a uh, foxglove Camelot rose color. Um, some of them were blooming. We tried to get ones with some blooms coming up. Hopefully we can make this last. We might repot it next year, but for this year we're going to keep it in the pot. It came in, um, so we'll see how well that does. Um, usually this calls these call for part shade, but uh, this far south in the zones it can get too hot even in part shade so we're going to try to grow it in full shade hopefully it does well uh, over here we have a neon pothos that we bought today that's going to be what goes in here and i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with that in just a minute so i've been calling this a tasmanian violet it's actually a vietnamese violet um, they're both sold on loggies this one produces these tiny little white flowers it seems to be as i trim them off that they just continuously produce. My uh, spider plant, of course, is doing well. Um, this, uh, my coral cactus, seems to be doing okay. I actually found where it's shooting up a, there it is. Pretty good, pretty good little shoot straight up. I'm not sure, I think I keep this a little too wet. I've been trying to let it dry out a little bit more since it is a, a kind of succulent cactus style. Over here are our little hangers. They're doing really well, our flocks. Um, this one, for whatever reason, doing a little better than this. They're doing well. I will try to kind of give you, they're hanging off. I also installed this netting. It's gonna be hard to view, but as you can see, this was to prevent my cat from running out. Unfortunately, I didn't have a way to secure it to the sides. And today, he decided to push his little head through, and he was on the other side. I luckily grabbed him, but uh, we're going to try to somehow staple that or tape that um, the couple of sides. That way he can't squeeze his head through. Our, uh, what are these again? The, we'll just call them by their common name. Oh, Huchera. Or Hucheras are doing well. As you can see here, and that'll give you a pretty good idea. We got a lot of little baby leaves coming up. Hopefully they 
flower this year. I actually realized in the shade package, I was supposed to get one of these spearmint colors, and one of these was supposed to be like a, a dark purple black version. I believe they ran out of stock. If you order from online nurseries online, you definitely have to order early. I did not. I kind of waited the last minute. So I just rolled with the punches. I don't mind the double. I think it would look cool with the white and black, but the double spearmint color should work fine. Back to this, as you can see, I have another bag of potting mix. We're going to be trying something. I saw this at Lowe's today. Um, I've seen this online as well a couple of days before. So this pothos, pothos are naturally a climbing vining plant. A lot of times you see them in a basket and they're hanging down. So what we're going to try to do is secure this here and it should climb up uh, the wooden post and when it does that um, it gets leaves bigger than this i mean it'll flatten itself it gets just humongous leaves they had one at lowe's it was pretty expensive um, it was in a larger pot like this and so the plant had filled out the edges of this and was kind of dangling over but then it had this beautiful um, their post was not as long i kind of wanted a longer one so it had room to grow over the years um, so we're going to see how that works I think I want to put it here and move some stuff around. Right now, that pot's going to just be storage. I might shove it in the corner. Maybe prevent a little cat from getting out there. So like I said, this is a cedar post. I think it was 2 or $3 at Home Depot where I bought the foxglove. I bought the neon pothos from a local plant store. I wanted to support local business when I could. They unfortunately only sell house plants. They don't sell garden plants. And so I bought this and my plan is to fill this with dirt all the way up. Hopefully I can use this bag of dirt and the other one gets it all the way full. I'm going to of course mix in some perlite to help get a little more drainage in here. Um, and I think this alone should be secure enough to hold the post up. I'm going to bury the post, kind of pack it down at the bottom, hopefully give it a nice stable base. Other than that, simply I'll just throw that in, and we'll see how it goes. These pothos should do pretty well here. I probably will have to take it in the winter because it does get a little chilly here, but we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, so this is what uh, maybe a third of a bag and a whole bag gets you in this uh, large fake terracotta pot. Here's the... I've got it. I was packing it in, which is part of the problem. Remember in that pot, I added a bunch of like shredded newspaper that came with the plants so that might have helped fill it up a little easier and i wish i had some more shredded paper so what i was going to do is i guess take some of this dirt out and uh i guess just to kind of show the ferns we're actually sending up new little uh fiddleheads on several of them so i'm going to take these and i want to try to put them in maybe a, a smaller pot I really, really didn't expect these ferns to, to do well. Maybe I'll put them in, I don't think I'll put them in there. So, um, they might go in here. They may be staying here and it's just gonna be low on dirt. I'll update you in just a minute. All right, so what I did is I ended up taking all the dirt out of this. I'm gonna use this temporarily as a stand, maybe to put the two houses on, I don't know. We're gonna use it as a plant stand anyways. So here we have the entire post up there already dug a hole so I'm going to place this in here and then I'm going to take the ferns and kind of line them around so maybe the pothos will grow up show a nice neon to the uh, greenish red ferns and then clean all this up so I'll let you know what the finished product looks like all right so I'm going to end up using this green container for something I'm most positive again I have the two little containers that I need to buy some plants on from online. Here's the pothos. Now, uh, the plant store that I bought this as well from did have uh, ones growing on smaller uh, wood backs, but they had them stapled. I'm going to try to see if this thing won't naturally grow up. Pothos are climbing plants, so it should want to, to climb its way up. I watered these in. And as you can see, I'll try to get down here. I did plant around the edge here, the ferns. So hopefully the ferns kind of fill this in 
the lack of light should make it even grow taller. So it should give this like deep green red fern color with the pothos growing up. Don't know if that'll occur or not. I can always dig stuff up, get rid of the ferns, you know, whatever I want to do here. Some of my other plants, uh, again, foxglove, primrose. Here we have the dulcel and all that. So that's that. Um, I planted these, I believe, around the 1st of May. Um, it is now two weeks, so you can kind of see how much everything's grown. Uh, maybe not quite two weeks, but I'm really proud of my hostas. We'll see how those go. Hopefully, I'll move into a new place and we can have a whole little shade garden, which I'll get rid of these pots. Well, I'll keep them for other plants, but I'll plant this, transplant this stuff into the shade area that I have around my house. And of course, that'll have to stay indoors and the pothos will have to come in, but play it by ear. You never know. Like I said, I didn't know before starting this that I was going to have to empty that out, but right now it's holding the hostas pretty well. So that's all for me today. I hope you guys have a good day.